Let's try and see how we could convert an Excel data file into Google Maps so that now you could embed the map any way you want to. You can um, slice it, dice it, you can um, zoom in, figure things out. So what we have are different regions or different possibly major regions around the world from Australia and France to South Africa and Italy with all the different main areas that grow these different grapes. And the question is, if we wanted to see the whole thing on a map, how well can we manage that? And this is where Google Maps oftentimes comes in very, very handy. There are other ways. There are insert map functions in Excel, but let's use Google Maps this time. So what I'm going to do is make sure that you've saved your data and we'll say, all right, this is nicely saved. Once it's saved, then let's go to Google Maps. And you see that it says your wine regions or global wine regions, global wine regions. And we'll save it. We haven't, we haven't added a description, but um, for the sake of time, let's tag this. Then we import what we need to import. So we know that our information right now is tucked away somewhere out here. And I'll just pull that info and let Google upload. Now, the minute Google uploads it, it says choose columns to position your place mark. Now, of course, that has to be what Google would use to figure out a spot on the map. So intuitively, it ought to be region. So it's a region, continue. Now they're saying, how would you like to mark the wines? And we could say, you know what? Uh, let's try it in terms of the grapes. So we can now look at all the major wine regions and the main grapes associated with the wine region. And we'll say, finish. It's loading, so what it's doing is taking all the headers and converting that, and voila, we have the map right in front of us. Now, it says they're all uniform styles, which is because they all are in blue, so we can link, click that. And now say, all right, you know what? I'm going to rather um, go for, I don't know, the V lookup number that I use, and that's mainly looking up the body. And we will say, um, we will use that as a setup. So low to high, and we've got that. Now you immediately see that the colors change. And that gives you a sense, so we can say, you know, um, what, what ought to be the range if we keep it at five. You can now set these labels in terms of the body and all that stuff. So we could easily do that. And now when you click on something, it tells you the body, I should have called it body out here, uh, Stellenbosch, South Africa, deep and earthy, banana flavor. One of the vintners out there is La Vigne, and um, the body is about eight. On the other hand, if you look at this part of Argentina, which is a melt pack, body of eight, bold and spicy, sour cherry, but then you can zoom into, for example, Greece, and we suddenly see this is an Emir wine, a Zeno Marlboro, uh, big sour and acidic taste. One of the vintners is Kiriani. It's got a seven out of 10 body versus now, when you look at the Pinot Noir, uh, although the Pinot Noir shouldn't be a 10 body, it should be a lighter one, but that's my, um, you know, sort of uh, mistyped data, so do forgive me for that. But this gives you a quick take on the general wine regions.